Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Umona Project. We here at the Umona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, guidance, advice. And um, a little while ago, um, I was discussing uh, the Korach Rebellion in the, the Book of Numbers, uh, chapter 16. Korach, one of the Levites, started a rebellion, a revolt, against um, uh, the authority of Moshe Rabbeinu, the authority of Moses. He wanted to um, uh, usurp the leadership. It's interesting phraseology. Uh, sometimes uh, it's interesting not what the Torah says, but what the Torah doesn't say. In the first verse of the book of Numbers, chapter 16, it says, Korach, son of Yitzar, son of Kahas, son of Levi, separated himself. Rashi observes that in detailing uh, Korach's Yichus, his, his, his lineage, uh, the Torah doesn't mention Yaakov Avinu. It doesn't mention Jacob. You'd figure if he's you know, setting out the lineage, they go back to Jacob. It doesn't mention that. So what does Rashi say? Uh, it stops at Levi. Why? He explains that um, Yaakov, Jacob implored God for mercy that the Torah not mention his name when it, uh, when it sets out uh, Korach's lineage. Um, with uh, with respect to this uh, with the dis with respect to this dispute, he sought to distance himself as far as possible from any vestige of controversy. And w it was on this Rashi that a very perceptive young lady commented. If the Torah mentions Levi, it's clearly also a reference to Yaakov, to Jacob. What is Jacob uh, attempting to accomplish by leaving his name out? If it says Levi, it means Jacob. Everyone knows that Levi is the son of Jacob. By saying Levi, you're meaning Jacob. What's Rashi talking about? What's, what's Jacob hoping to ac accomplish by leaving his name out? Uh, as is often the case, um, she was not the first to ask this question. Uh, Harav uh, Zev Weinberger uh, explains with respect to this question that um, Yaakov's, Jacob's life has been marked by controversy from his birth, battling Esau, um, the, con the conflict with Levan, uh, the anguish over his uh, daughter Dina is a continuation of a life crusading against evil and confronting it head on. Yaakov's fear wasn't so much about, like, you know, this is about, so, it was for him, so much that he feared that people might err in thinking that Korach, his dispute was like Jacob, a fight against evil, and that he was a crusader against the wicked, the, the, the crusader against um, evil, because he's following, people would erroneously think, following uh, in the footsteps of his illustrious uh, ancestor. He wanted to dispel uh, this notion. Korach did not seek to uproot evil. He was not battling L'shem Shemayim in the name of heaven. Uh, he was not doing uh, this as a, as a Kiddush Hashem, as a sanctification uh, of God's name. Uh, he didn't want to elevate his name. He wanted to elevate himself. Korach was arrogant. He was insecure. And he meant to undermine Moses' leadership. He was not a crusader. He was not a warrior for the sake of heaven. He was a Balmachlaikis. He was a... He was an, an argumentative disputer, somebody who dis pursues a dispute as a means of, uh, 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 of uh, 
uh, of uh, sub absur uh, subverting uh, Israel's uh, leadership, the leadership of the Jewish people. He was a demagogue. He sought to destroy the inherent good that Moses infused in the people so that he could assume control on his own. He couldn't relate. Yaakov couldn't relate to this kind of machoikas, this kind of uh, wicked dispute. He was not a crusader. He was, wasn't fighting against evil. He was fighting against good. And what he doing was wicked. And this is why um, uh, the, the dispute between Korach and Moses is viewed as, as the paradigm, the prime example of, uh, of a dispute um, that is not L'Shem Shemayim. Um, because this is the only time, perhaps in history, where Moses was completely right and the other side, Korach, was completely wrong. It was a hundred to zero. And by doing it this way, we can, uh, by looking at it this way, we can understand why uh, Jacob did not want to be included in Korach's lineage. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.